We talked about the pyramid. It is another, uh, you know, constantly pervasive symbol. All over you will find the symbol of the pyramid. There's so many of them. One could just do a whole lecture on just the symbol of the pyramid, the red and blue degrees there again. The missing capstone and the pentagram. Uh, some symbols like this, for instance, of the awards, the America. I find it interesting that the American Business Awards are using the pyramid. Oh, yeah. And you'll see a lot of this. I mean, obviously, you've seen images like this of the ascent to the sun and the sky and the background and the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps. Lots of symbolism there. You'll see things like this that your eye will not focus on until you, your higher mind sees the sun and the steps of the pyramid. Microsoft, start here at the bottom of the pyramid, go up. These people are interested in pyramids and technology. Here's beer, keystone beer. Don't have to belabor the point because Jordan was pointing out yesterday what keystone really means is the top of the pyramid. Here is the absolute using the pyramid, the sphere and the obelisk. This one intrigues me as the sun and the pyramid and the serpent made to look like water. Right, beer. Who owns the beer? Who owns the alcohol companies? A whole study in itself. It goes back to the pirates, but it even goes back before that to who runs these poisons, right? The tax-exempt Knight Mal Knights of Malta and the Knights Templar who were tax-exempt were the ones who opened the inns and the taverns and the bars. It's a whole interesting story. And why those bars and taverns in England are called strange occult names like the Green Dragon and the horse and, you know, uh, the, uh, the white horse or the black horse and the rose and the crown. Ever wondered about those strange names, the plow and the stars? And why they're called arms. Anybody gone into England, you'll know that the taverns are called arms, implying that it was a military order that opened them to poison the people of the world that go down there at 5 o'clock and sit there till 12 o'clock uh, complaining about the government and drinking their brains out. Nothing gets done. That was the intention. The dissemination of poisons in our society, sugar, tobacco, alcohol, you, you name it, vaccinations, fluoride, is a study in itself. Possibly. Very interesting that. Yeah, we want to maybe look into that. Terminology. I love it. Words. That's how we have to start thinking. Symbol literacy. Look with the eyes of children again. The right brain. Don't let a thing slip by. In one of the great stories by Conan Doyle of Sherlock Holmes, when Sherlock Holmes was trying to talk about his technique to Dr. Watson, who couldn't get it, he said, I'll sum it up this way. He said, when you come to Baker Street to visit me, you come up the stairs every day. How many stairs are there, Watson? He goes, uh, I don't know. He goes, ah. You see, but you do not observe. That's all it's about. In the Bible it says, having eyes ye see not, having ears ye hear not. It's time to start watching them. Madonna, the Illuminati pyramid on her back. Camel, the Illuminati pyramids. And the man, see this? See the leg? You see how that's a human being? There's his face looking out this way. There's his chest and his arm. There's a human being there. Yeah. You have to, we, we could spend some time, but unfortunately we don't have it. We'll get a packet and look at it. And by the way, anybody here familiar with sacred geometry? The idea of the phi ratio and the golden section? Cigarette boxes are actually designed based on the golden rectangle. So just holding them has a therapeutic effect. Not in a good way, but in a negative way. That's one of the selling pitches they do. Not only there's opium in the tobacco and all of that. Yes, there's lots of things to create addiction. But these people are very adroit. Even the ratio of how the lid to the rest of the box and how it's opened and the, the, you know, the arousal that comes with that. Uh, but you can use the same techniques for your own healing. These are for your degradation. Go and measure your beds at home. If you have children, discover whether their beds are based on the phi ratio or not. Because these companies that make the, the beds for you and the, and, and the children's cots make sure that they're not based on sacred ratios so you have restless sleep. And so you, can't, you have nightmares. 
Chuck them out the window and do it right. Make your own beds, make them based on sacred geometry and watch what happens to your life patterns and your sleep patterns just from that one thing alone. <coughs> Courtney Pine, Illuminati symbolism. Who runs kinder care? Big question, better find out. Look at their symbol. Oh yeah, wonder why children go missing? I wonder about it. Swedish bank using the uh, eye on the pyramid. One of the most powerful ancient symbols of Freemasonry, one of their specific most sacred symbols to them, right? The one they don't want to tell you about a lot is what's called the double uh, ashlar or the double cube. It's a well known symbol to Freemasons. If you, in your mind's eye, look at this chevron symbol, word that doesn't mean anything in English, you'll find that that is a cube. You see that in three dimensions? There's one cube sitting on another and it's red and blue, like the red and blue degrees. Here it is again. The two cubes. The two cubes. The cube. Look out for this. The triple or the, the, the double cube. These chevrons, don't you find them also on the military as the chevrons? You ever wonder why those stripes were there? Corporal uh, sorry, private corporal sergeant? No, first degree, second degree, or third degree Freemason. That's all it means. Anybody who served in those forces knows you can't get very far unless you want to start shaking some hands, right? The double cube and the world. What does that symbol mean otherwise? I mean, what, what is it? It's a cu double cube on its side. Yves Saint Laurent, double cube. Dodge Chrysler, double cube. Another one of the symbols that they uh, care about deeply and you should know about is what's called the red square. Why do we say we get caught up in red tape? Why do they cut the red tape, you know? Or um, the red carpet. Look how many corporate logos use the red square just alone. And how many flags. Do you remember um, when, uh, I think it was Reagan, actually met Gorbachev for the first time, the first so-called meeting between East and West at Perestroika? The cameras didn't start rolling until the two of these people walked out into what was called Red Square in Moscow. And then when they were in the center of Red Square, then they turned and shook hands for the cameras. Interesting, that I thought. Right? So in the center of Red Square. The center of the coronation of Queen of England is on a red carpet. Vatican center chair of St. Peter sits on a red carpet. The letter E is very important. We'll come to letters a little bit later on but the, the letter I want to stress to you right now as in usage is the letter E. It's the fifth letter of our alphabet because in ancient occultism and even in modern occultism E is very important because it represents the fifth essence or the quintessence. It was called Epsilon. In Greek the letter E is called Epsilon and it represents a spiritual power of transcendence, the number five. So you will always find something in a corporate logo that will tweak the E for a reason. See that? It'll always be highlighted in some way, or separated in some way, or dropped in some way. Here you see the serpent of Intel? The serpent with the eye? Enron. Enron, yeah, good. I think I have one on Enron. Yeah, there you go. Right? It's either turned on, it'll be, it'll be highlighted or, you know, stylized in some way. Pyramids. The number five. So many groups use the five and the symbol of the sun. It's a big thing even in the techie world because these telecon silicon uh, types imagine that they're doing some occult work. The connection between the occult and the silicon valley is something I go into a lot in other talks. Look at the magical symbols. <coughs> opening doors into the intelligence, the technological world. The portal of the door is very important in Freemasonry. They talk about the porch, 